warm weather here in southern Finland is back again, I've made it a habit to start my days out with a walk in the forest. I want to make my own collection of tea this year, so I just wander around looking for herbs and flowers that I can pick. Today's morning I spent in the company of birch trees, as now is the best time to pick their leaves. The day was very quiet and I couldn't stop myself from thinking about all the changes in my life in recent years. I often think back to the times when I lived in Ukraine and I must say that it was challenging for me to leave everything behind and start fresh in a whole new country. But most often to invite new good things into our life we must be ready to take hard decisions and to face the unknown. So here I am now, picking wild herbs in Finnish forests and growing a garden in my apartment on the fifth floor. I think we were lucky to have spotted and rented this apartment within the first two weeks of our stay in Finland. When we first moved here, the apartment was totally empty, so we had to buy all the furniture and other household items. But over the past three years, we managed to fill it with everything we need and perhaps even more. We also ended up getting a lot of different tools, as there is always some stuff at home that needs to be fixed. We bought an old car and two used bicycles, and all of them require a lot of love and treatment. Our living room often becomes a hub for some ongoing projects, whether it's repairing a bicycle or something related to my gardening stuff. What a mess! This is what our living room looks like right now. It's a little cramped. The more space you have, the more you need. Recently we had our third anniversary in this apartment and Thinking about it, I realized that this is actually the place where I've stayed the longest in my adult life. When I turned 17, I left my parents' home and since then I regularly stayed in one place for more than a year. My first stepping stone into adult life was a student dormitory. I shared a room with three other girls, though it seemed like cockroaches in that dorm claimed all the space as their own. Living in a dorm had its moments of fun, actually a lot of fun, laughter and unforgettable experience. But I'm glad that I eventually moved on when the time was right. The experience of living in a dorm with a shared kitchen and bathroom without much privacy taught me to value the small luxuries and comforts in life. Now, looking back after 8 years, I truly appreciate how much I've grown since then and what I have in my life today. I actually met my future husband back in those days. We both were young and broke, but as students we had an opportunity to rent a tiny apartment in another dorm for a very cheap price. It was very small and far from the best. This strange picture actually covers the holes in the wall. But for me, it was just the loveliest room in the world. I believe that it's not the expensive things that make a space truly special and turn it into a loving home, but the emotions that fill the space and the memories you associate with it. We didn't stay there for long, but the day we emptied it and moved out, I felt like a piece of my soul remained in that place forever. At the age of 19, we both started working full-time in good positions, so we could afford to provide ourselves with something better. 
but we very much failed with our next strength department. I think the big mistake was not taking enough time to consider all our options. During the viewing of one apartment, the owner of it played some tricks on us and before we even said yes, he was already preparing a rental agreement. Sadly, we fell for his manipulations. In our defense, I can say that the apartment seemed to look good and the view of the forest just won me over. But it turned out that the place was very cold and, uh, as we discovered later, the building itself had big issues with electricity and sewage pipes. One winter night we woke up to the sound of running water in our bathroom. We found out that the water level in sewage pipes rose up and, uh, since we lived on the bottom floor, the water started to fill our apartment. I remember watching my sleeper swim past me and not knowing what to do. Surprisingly, my husband appeared to be more collected. He told me to open a window and handed me a bucket. We spent the entire night pouring water out of the window. In the morning we started packing our stuff and we moved out later the same day. Thankfully, my sister lived in the same city and she kindly let us stay at her place until we could find a new temporary home. After that night, I got very ill and it took me three weeks to recover. But we've learned a very important lesson from that situation. We knew that the building had those issues, but for some reason we were postponing the move. Maybe we just hope that it would be fixed soon, or maybe that nothing bad would happen to us. Also, other apartments in our city had higher prices, so we thought it might be a good way to save some more money. This will sound even more silly when I say that our savings later got stolen. It happened right before our move to Finland, but that's another story, maybe for some video in the future. After that home, my situation, we promised to each other to try to do our very best to not end up in a similar mess ever again. No more playing the waiting game and hoping that issues will magically disappear. It was a lesson of importance to resolve issues as soon as they arise, not letting them grow into something bigger and create chaos in our lives. And yes, we agreed to no longer live in the bottom floor apartments. Currently we've settled on the fifth floor. It's the highest floor in our building and I love this place. There is a big window in our living room with a view of a beautiful aspen tree and the wide open sky. Our balcony is very sunny and my plants are so happy with it. They keep growing bigger every day and now I'm running out of space. To solve that I decided to make a shelf. It was my first building project and it was a bit tricky to make this in an apartment, but I'm kinda surprised how it turned out. Let me guys know what you think about it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have a wonderful summer. See you soon. Bye.